Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Ford Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Orchid Island uh, Capital, or ticker ORC. I've talked about them quite a few times here on the uh, channel. Uh, down about 20% in the uh, last year, so I'm um, just waiting to see where the bottom is going to hit on this one. Over the last three months, down over 16%. Here in the last month, it's down over 4.6%. Here in the last week, it's trading kind of flat, and then just the uh, drop off here today, so dropped quite a bit, 40 cents. And here's a look at what it's doing today. So uh, in this account, I have 130 shares at a cost basis of 563, and I'm just waiting to see uh, where how much lower this one's going to go. So. Um, if you could buy in this dip and uh, get it to go back up to there, that'd be a little bit of appreciation, but um, I'm not counting on it, so we'll just have to wait and see. Um, here's a next payout that I'm getting on this one of $8.45, 130 shares at .065. Um, that's going to be changing. I'll go over that with you here in a moment. Uh, if you don't know what ORC is, it operates as a, a specialty finance company which engages in investing in residential mortgage-backed securities. Been around since 2010. Volume of 6.62 million, about twice of what the uh, average is at 2.98 million. 747.80 million dollar market cap and a 52 week low of 417, a low today of 418. That should probably be 417 as well. High of a 429, or the low today is 418, the 52 week low is 417, 52 week high of 622. Here's a look at their uh, next earnings uh, coming up on uh, February 24th. Um, but I got some information that uh, just came out here in regards to the uh, drop-off. Uh, Bing is showing it currently as a buy with a one-year price target of $6. Orchid Island uh, upgraded at Zach's Investment Research, and this is dated on the uh, 7th. So upgraded shares of Orchid Island from a sell rating to a hold rating. A little bit of information, older information, so I'm just going to kind of skim through this. Uh, you can find all of this on uh, right there, etfdailynews.com. Uh, I just wanted to show that on the uh, rating. So about Orchid Island, it operates as a specialty finance company which engages in investing in residential mortgage-backed securities. Its portfolio consists of traditional pass-through agency and structured agency. The traditional pass-through agency included mortgage pass-through certificates and collateralized mortgage obligations. Orchid Island announces estimated fourth quarter 2021 results, a January 22 monthly dividend and December 31, 2021 portfolio characteristics. So the um, new dividend that's going to be going forward is a penny less. It's going to be uh, 5.5 cents instead of 6.5 per share. Estimated book value per share on December 31st of $4.34. Net loss of 0.27 per share for the quarter ended on December 31st of 2021. And feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest. So... Uh, again, ORC announced today that the uh, Board of Directors uh, declared a monthly cash dividend for the uh, month of uh, January 2022. The dividend of uh, 0.055 uh, per share will be paid on February 24th, 2022 to the uh, holders of record uh, the uh, company's common stock on January 31, 2022 with an ex-dividend date of January 28, 2022. Company plans on announcing its next uh, common stock dividend on February 16th of 2022. So that's going to be changing, so it'll be penny less. Company intends to make regular monthly cash distributions to its holders of uh, common stock in order to uh, qualify as a real estate investment trust or REIT. 
company must uh, distribute uh, annually to its stockholders an amount of at least equal to 90% of its rate taxable income. Uh, that's the nice thing about these uh, rates is they have to pay out such a high percentage and therefore you get those big payouts. So, Orchid Island uh, capital stock uh, dips after dividend cut due to uh, margin compression. This is dated on the uh, 13th. So, ORC uh, stock drops 3.1% uh, after the uh, mortgage rate cuts its monthly cash dividend due to the uh, rapid compression of its net interest margin. That occurred on Q4 of 2021. Monthly cash dividend goes to uh, 0.055 per share of common stock, uh, down 15% from the prior dividend of 0 0.065. Uh, still better than um, cutting it out completely like um, some stocks had done through the uh, pandemic. ORC uh, cites Recent uh, comments from uh, Fed officials indicating that it may take action to remove substantial monetary uh, policy accommodation. Companies' uh, net interest margin has also been impacted uh, by the persistence of long-term rates uh, remaining at or uh, below levels observed earlier in uh, 2021. In estimated book value per share of $4.34. As a result, estimated the total return on equity for the quarter comes to a negative 4.9%. And see if there's any further information in here. I think it's pretty much the same thing we already went over. This is showing a forward yield of 14.43%, so still can't beat that, um, but uh, we don't like to see our dividends cut, um, but it's still a pretty healthy one. Orchid Island uh, Capital, a stock trading at uh, $4.58 per share. What's next? This is dated here on the uh, 14th. So plunge during the uh, trading session on Thursday and reaching a high of 464 during the day while it closed the day at uh, 458. Company report on January 13th that uh, ORC announces estimated fourth quarter, uh, which we already went over all of that information. Here's what leading stock market gurus are saying about ORC so with some ratings. So feel free to pause and uh, go over that. Uh, it's show, still showing a target price, one year target of $6 per share. It's going to have to do a lot to get back up to that. So from what I've been watching it here lately, it just keeps going down. So, uh, but. If you were wanting to buy some more shares, now might be the uh, time to do that. So over here on uh, StockTwits, currently at four dollars and twenty-two cents, a low of four seventeen, high of six twenty-two. Just took out thirty thousand share sell roadblock. Love to jump in closer to four ten. So people are still buying this one. People still like this one. It does have a, a fat dividend payout. So. Three thousand shares. Over here on uh, MSN Money, uh, if it comes up, uh, it's currently showing as a buy, and here on Tip Ranks, currently showing it as a hold. But that's all the info that I have on uh, ORC. Um, if you're buying more of this one or think it's going to go any lower. Um, or if you have any information on this one uh, period, as you can see for the last week, it just traded kind of flat. So, and then just a major drop off actually yesterday, close to uh, after hours. So, but I'm going to be watching this one, uh, probably buy some more of uh, this one. I have more in a retirement, um, um, so I kind of diversify, spread a out and do a couple different accounts and um, uh, definitely be picking up some more in this as those prices keep dropping but the uh, dividend did as well but um, 
which sucks, but still a decent dividend. So, but that's all that I have on uh, ORC. If you have this one, go ahead and list it in the uh, comments along with your cost basis and the other information you'd like to share. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is J Money, Falling Forward Financial. Happy trading, happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.